Hey, what is going on you guys? EpicNNG here and whoa, what? I have never done an intro like that. <laughs> hey, what is going on you guys? It's Epic here and welcome back to a new video on the channel, of course. Welcome to my OnlyFans guys, this is the first video. Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, before this video begins, I have a few things to say. Don't worry, this this isn't going to be a waste of your time. Uh, firstly, I just found out that my processor is failing, so if my game is dropping frames like mad, or spiking a bunch, or stuttering, then do forgive me, but my processor is failing, so if we could have just a moment of silence here. <laughs> just a moment of silence. Uh, second of all, we are coming up on 10,000 subscribers, and to celebrate, I'm going to be doing another Borderlands 3 giveaway. The last one I did was quite a long time ago but I wanted to do another one and since I just hopped over to PC this is going to be for Steam. Uh, I am only going to be picking winners from this video using a random comment picker so if you want to win let me know why in the comment section down below but this is only for Steam. Honestly, since my processor is failing, I honestly have no idea when I'm going to draw the winner. I will let you guys know, of course, but I can't give you a date right now because everything's a, a little bit crazy. And apart from that, I also want to say that this build is not a brand new build. This is a redux of my Grim Reaper Zane build that I recently posted. So before I keep rambling on about this build, the tree is on screen. You know the deal, you can copy that straight into your game or you can go to the description if you're on PC to download the save indirectly. Now, Epic, why are you redoing the Grim Reaper build? Well, you remember in the video I told you guys that the build can be made better, and I said that I didn't want to make it better because I just didn't think it needed to be, but you know me, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm, I'm making it better. Uh, I will say a big thank you to my Discord admin and long time, long time subscriber and supporter of the channel Valventine. He was the one who gave me these tips, so thank you Valventine, I'm, I'm redoing it. <laughs> You're welcome guys. So the first change of this new build is that within the shield augments I have put nanites or some shy in the place of charged relay. Since we always keep our shield up, charged relay is a one and done deal so we just don't need it. Uh, to go into more depth on this, I will read it out directly. So with Charged Relay, whenever Zane or an ally touches the barrier, they gain increased movement speed or reload speed for a few seconds. That will actually last 8 seconds after moving away from the barrier. Now, this could work differently to what I think it does, but if it works how it says right here, this is not good because we are always keeping our shield up, so we're basically only getting that, that buff once. Uh, on the other hand, Nanites or Sunshine is always active if we are near the barrier. So yeah, it's, it's a way better trade-off and yeah, I don't think I need to say much more. Also beforehand, Salvation was 3 out of 5. We actually don't need 3 out of 5 because 1 out of 5 is more than enough for survivability when it comes to Zane. So 1 out of 5 in Salvation and we're putting them extra 2 points into Cool Hand for more reload speed. Now, I didn't think I needed the extra reload speed at first, but I think we need it a lot more than we need another two points into Salvation. So yeah, because we're dealing just crazy amounts of damage, 2% of damage dealt is more than enough to stay alive. Next up, I have 3 out of 3 into Premionitus. That was not there before, but I do agree that more mag size is a better trade-off for some of the skills down here in the green tree, specifically best served cold. Like Valentine said, with most of the times you proc best served cold, you're most likely going to freeze yourself, which is definitely not what you want. That could probably get you killed, so it's not really worthy of having in the build. I will say that if you're playing from a distance, then best served cold is still really good and I do think it's good overall whether you're playing from a distance or not but I do think Premunitas is worth having in the build a lot more. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a controversial change as is anything on my channel so we have static field for our sentinel augment now instead of bad dose. The reason why I did this is because I just don't think Bad Dose is very helpful when you're going into Slaughter Shaft. I mean, yes, you are going to be debuffing some enemies, but no, you do not need to. We deal just enough damage without Bad Dose, so yeah, we definitely do not need it. So yeah, Stack Field is going to be a lot better because it's going to keep our shield up, and I'll come back to that in just a second because that is going to help with another skill that we've now included into the build. Actually, I'm kind of a big dummy 
army. We didn't include a new skill into the build, but I do want to talk about this skill, Calm, Cool, and Collected. Now, Valentine said that it was not worth specking Cool, Calm, Collected, and he said that it's better to have borrowed time for more action skill duration. And in return, he also didn't spec into Futility Bell or really expensive jacket, but I'm going to tell you why you do actually want to be specced into Calm, Cool, Collected. So yes, you can go into borrowed time and get more action skill time overall. It will help if you are running a seeing dead almost non-stop, but you definitely do not need to, and here is why. So I'm going to read out Calm Call Collected. Whenever Zane freezes an enemy, his shield will begin recharging. If his shields are full, he'll regenerate health instead, and if his health is already full and his shield, you'll get your action skill cooldowns reset. Now, because we also ditched the old god within this build, and I'm kind of skipping ahead, we'll, we'll get to the items in a second, because we are skipping out on the old god, and we're going to be running around again back with the band of Sitarak, which has a super low capacity, it's going to be really, really, really easy to proc CCC. So yeah, for that reason, because we have Salvation still specced, and because we also have a Sitarak, it's so, so easy to keep all of our stuff at full and get our action skill back non-stop. So yeah, because of this, we don't even need to run around with a Seeing Dead. You know, it's just absolutely crazy. Of course, I still do, because it will keep your skills up a lot longer, because sometimes you're not going to proc Triple C, but I think you don't even need a Seeing Dead. Uh, now into the items, I'm not going to go through all of them because I don't want to waste time and have people saying that I'm trying to hit the 10 minute mark because I'm not. <laughs> Uh, so things that we've now added into the build is the Unseen Threat with Sentinel Cryo Damage. Very important, you're not going to hit 15 million damage like you saw in the intro if you don't have Sentinel Cryo. The reason why is because we get more movement speed damage with the Anti-Freeze and more Cryo damage with the Snowdrift Victory Rush. And what ties into all of this stuff as well is the version Ohm. This is going to allow your first shot to deal amped damage. Now you can run a one-shot shield. I just didn't include it in the build because I think they are way too rare to find and I don't like RNG. I, I don't even know why I'm playing Borderlands. So I have the version ohm because not only does it have really high capacity for going into fights, it's also really great for getting them amped shots. Now, I know you're probably saying, Epic, you really, really want a low capacity on an amped shield, and I fully understand that. I'm just a big fan of big shields. It's, it's a personal thing. Don't get mad. But yeah, if you're not making the same bad life choices as me, you probably want a low capacity amp shield. I'm also taking the Maggie out of the build, so that's a new change as well, so the Maggie can go on out of here, we're not using the Maggie anymore, and I don't know why there's a Thunderbolt Fist, don't, don't worry about that. Like I said, we've added back in the Band of Sidorak, this is in here because that weapon damage while depleted, again, will just maximise our damage output. Uh, but aside from that, there are some other goodies that aren't on me right now that will be included in the save file for your PC guys. They're not in the build because I just, I just don't think they need to be. Again, I know you guys hate it when I say that, but I don't think these items need to be in the build, but they will be in the save file. The first item of which is going to be a Sentinel Cryo Skull Masher. I found it while I was playing with Valentine and Cooked Kiwi and it is absolutely insane. It will kill almost everything you hit. The second is a Sentinel Cryo Unforgiven. Again, if you hit crits, I was able to completely one-shot the badasses in the Slaughter Shaft with it. It's absolutely stupid. Oh, and one thing I forgot to say as well is that we did drop the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge out of the build. I don't think it's needed. Again, you guys hate when I say that, but I don't think the Pearl is needed inside of the build. Now, I know that the Pearl is very good. I'm not calling it a bad relic. You don't have to get angry at me in the comments section. That's not what I'm saying. I do think the Pearl is very, very, very good, but I don't think this build needs it. I think you benefit a lot more from the Victory Rush than you would the Pearl. Uh, but aside from that, that basically does it for this build. Now, I do quickly, before we end the video here, just want to explain the name. You guys are probably wondering why I didn't call it the Grim Reaper 2, which is what I wanted to call it. And you're probably thinking, Epic, why did you call it eBay Zane? 
So I want to take a few seconds to just talk about this at the end of the video here. So there are people going around on eBay selling Borderlands creators builds on eBay. I personally haven't been hit by it yet because my builds are trash, but everybody else has. Um, but regardless, this is not cool and it's just not a nice thing to do at all. You're stealing from people who are posting this build for free and then you know, I, I'd, it just blows my mind how they're making money off of this. So yeah, again, if you are here because you've seen this build listed on eBay or if you've seen anybody else's build listed on eBay, please report them posts and remember you can get any of these builds for free, you don't need to pay for them. And finally, on that note, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys, of course, for your support as always. Thank you for watching my videos and telling me that I'm a bad YouTuber and with that being said, have a nice day.